So what, <clears throat> kind of tough position to put you in, but what has gone wrong with Oklahoma State's offense this year? I don't know if there's been a lot of continuity at the quarterback position. Um, I think they're, they're three different players, and uh, I think it's probably hard for a play caller to – you know, to put a guy in that spot. You know, you got one guy, I think, uh, in Gunner Gundy that I think runs it really well. Um, you know, I, I think he's got athleticism and he can do a lot of the things that, that maybe they're accustomed to doing that Spencer Sanders had, had done for many years. And then got a couple of guys that I think maybe throw the ball a little bit uh, and are more comfortable in that role and aren't maybe going to run it as much. And so, um, I don't know, it's just been probably hard for them to, to find that. And uh, probably going through a lot of the same things that, that, that uh, you know, they, they've had a lot of good players over the years and, and have some new guys in the program and they're talented. It just takes time to season guys up a little bit and they're probably going through some of that also. Despite the numbers issues, they haven't put up great numbers. They've got skilled guys on this offense. They sure do. Yeah, they got a really talented group of receivers. I think their backs are good. Uh, they're always going to be good up front. You know, I think the tight ends are tough kids. And so it's not, uh, you know, I, I think uh, talent is not the issue in any position that they have. It's just, you know, putting it together. And that's what that's what makes them scary is because, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I hope they put it together the week after they play us. They look like they're <clears throat> showing more willingness to run zero kind of between the tackles and give them a lot more carries. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good player. I, I think he's a he's a taller than what we're used to seeing. You know, especially around here. You know, we don't uh, we don't deal with those tall backs. But he's a yeah. He he, he runs hard. He, he uh, is going to look for the contact. I think sometimes. You know, I think you watch a couple of those early games in the season. Uh, he had opportunities to make guys miss, and instead of doing that, he'd run right through people. You know, I think he's a tough runner that uh, going to be hard to knock backwards. But that's going to be the game. Obviously, they count. But if you take away the, the three or four explosive plays you guys allow. We're playing really good football. Do you remind your guys that to yeah. their confidence yeah. that they are? Yeah, you bet. And that's the same. And it was the same in, in Missouri. There was a lot of, of negative plays and a lot of things that we did really well. And then, you know, there's a couple that, that, that we manufacture our own problems in a little bit. And, um, uh, you know, a couple of uh, things that if you did them 10 times, it, it wouldn't have turned out the way that they turned out, but they turned out that way. And so, um, that those those things happen, and, and I think the more experience we get, the more comfortable guys can just take a breath. And uh, I think one of the one of the break, breakthroughs that we had in, in our game against Central Florida was, I think we pressed really hard. Certain individuals were pressing really hard to be perfect, and I think just trying to stress those guys, it ain't going to be perfect. It isn't always going to work out just the way that we rep it. It isn't always going to work out just the way that it is. You have to apply your rules and principles, and sometimes. Sometimes they get you, and if it ends up, if they end up getting a first down, it's at the end of the world. You don't have to, you know, throw your day in. It's just you've got to go line up, play the next play. And I think we did a better job of that against Central Florida than we did the previous three weeks. How did you respond when UCF hit a flea flicker on your last? I didn't respond well. Uh, my anger management coach would not have been happy with that one. Um, that that those are the kind of things that we've got to avoid because that was an easy picture that we just. Um, got lazy on it quite frankly and and uh and lazy with our eyes and and you know 76 yards later because I, I really felt at that point in the game we had just started to get our footing um and and offense was rolling and i thought we could have put the hammer down on those guys and then to give up something like that and let them back in the game um was foolish i didn't feel like at any point in that game that i, I thought i thought we had the ability to 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 to, to step on them a little bit we just we didn't do it until until really late, and so uh, that that play was obviously a sock in the gut. Um, but you know, we had a couple of plays like that that just ourselves inflicted wounds that you know we've got to we've got to correct. Do you feel like you're really close to being where you want to be, though? I do. I, I think uh, I think we did the right thing. We made some some lineup shuffles. I think we you know us flipping Kobe Savage and VJ Payne around in the back end was was the right thing to do. Um, you know, I I, I think um, obviously losing Deuce Green is a is a thing. You know, I mean he's an alpha communicator, a guy that's going to be right 99% of the time. And I think this week has been really helpful for Austin Romaine. You know, to get him more comfortable in 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 his role, and which is a, a big one, uh, and to get some other guys some looks at some of that stuff. I think we're we're going to see uh, you're going to you know don't be surprised to see. You know, some more guys uh, getting some some opportunities that we took a good hard look at this week. That you know we're going to see how they do on on Saturday or Friday, I should say. How much does losing Asa there though kind of hurt?
hurt things. Yeah, he, he really rounded out our two deep, and, and he was developing. You know, he, he did uh, – you know, he took his lumps too in, in the Missouri game in particular. But you know, he was getting better each week, and we could see that. And you know, I, we always had kind of thought that. I mean, it's the way it is when you're a developmental program. I and mean, we kind of thought by mid-October, we thought he'd be hitting his stride, and we'd be very comfortable with him in there. And I think he was on course to do that. And so, yeah, that that hurts, and that probably is going to strain. Um, some more guys, you know, Jake Clifton in particular, who's just one of our smartest football players that, you know, probably has the ability to play, not probably, certainly has the ability to play all three linebacker spots. And he's having to do that a little bit. And so um, puts a little bit more on some guys' plates because we're, we're, we're thin and young in there. Is Jake kind of the backup at all three spots right he now? He is. And, you know, what's interesting about Jake is he's probably one of our, nah, again, not probably, he's one of our best 11 football players. He's a really good player. It's just – the role that he's in, and he'll play as much as anybody will play. It's just he might have to take some at Sam. He might have to take some at Mike. He might have to take some at Will. And that's just uh, where we're at right now with, with the depth in that group. Sir, did you uh, benefit this week to get pressure just with your front three without blitzing? Yeah, uh, some teams have given them fits with some of that stuff, uh, um, you know, using different fronts and trying to manipulate protections and things like that. Uh, it's been a lot more four man than three, um, but I think we've got the guys to do it. I, you know, they they uh, did a good job last year against us. I felt like not letting Felix and and Khalid get going by chipping them. You know, uh, keeping a tight end in and and just getting a piece of those guys before they get out in the route. And would expect to see some of that stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna pick and choose our spots. You know, and and uh, and try to keep this quarterback disrupted as much as we can.